Welcome back to On The Sticks, where we provide you with the information you need so you can spend more time on the sticks. I'm Sticks, and today we finally got some new 2K22 info. So let's jump right into it. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help directly support the channel. Thanks. So with the release of 2K22 imminent, I think it comes out around September 10th. People are starting to get a little antsy, wondering why we haven't really seen anything or heard anything about the game. But I feel like every year, they wait later and later to start showing stuff. So today they finally revealed the official covers. I think I had somebody in my Twitch chat tell me they had leaked the covers already, but I didn't go look them up. So today is my first time seeing them as well. On the regular cover, you got Luca. So I'm not surprised they put Luca on there. Y'all know Luca been turned up, playing hella good, and the NBA loves when the NBA world loves him. And uh, this was a, a big surprise to me in a way. In the GameStop exclusive version of the game, they have uh, Candace Parker on the cover. First ever time they have a WNBA, WNBA player on the cover. You know, 2K has been doing more and more to cater to their WNBA to NBA fans uh, with every release uh, recently. So part of me is surprised they put her on the cover and part of me is not. Because like I said, they're doing more and more to cater to that, that audience. So. I'm sure her being on the cover should or will or it could get more women into the game, playing the game more, or at least wanting to buy the game just because she's on the cover. So fellas, if you're having a hard time convincing your girl buy the game for you, show her the the one with uh, Candace Parker on the cover. Maybe she'll go for that one. You know, they started putting the uh, the women's my player mode into the game and the, all the WNBA teams and stuff like that. So more, more and more WNBA uh, inclusion into the game doesn't bother me at all. I'm all for that. I'm sure the comments uh, responding back to that cover being shown probably got some wild stuff in them. You know, with all the jokes people make about WNBA and stuff like that. But I have no problem with that. That's cool with me. They should do one like that every year with a WNBA player. And then for the 75th anniversary edition cover to have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kevin Durant and uh, Dirk Nowitzki on the cover together. Me personally, I would have loved to see Dirk on the cover by himself just from everything he's done in the in the league. And I think he deserves his own cover, to say the least. They could have used a picture of him from that year when he went crazy against the Heat and put them boys out the playoffs and won the championship. Or they could have just used a picture of him walking into the arena with that cookout plate that time before the game. I thought that was a, a great picture. Uh, of Dirk as well, but yeah, I'm cool with these covers. They look, they look, they look all right. Part of me is surprised it's not another Kobe cover. That's surprising to me, low key. Something with Kobe on there. That's that's kind of surprising, but yeah, I'm, I'm cool with these covers. I think everybody pretty much figured it was gonna have something to do with Luca and Dirk in some kind of way. Kind of surprised to see KD on there. I haven't seen um, the reasoning behind them picking those three guys to go on the cover together. So if anybody knows down in the comments below, let me know Did 2K release a statement saying why they chose those guys for the cover together. Yeah, I definitely would have gave Dirk his own his own joint. That's that's me personally, but uh, pretty sure the price is going to be the same as uh, last year was with the uh, next gen joint being 70 and having to pay like 100 if you want previous gen and next gen. Well, shoot, it's current gen and previous gen now, but yeah. It's probably a hundred for both. I'm probably just going to go for the next gen version. I'm assuming if I even get 2k at this point, I don't know if I'm getting it. So I'm not going to say either way. Cause last year I said I wasn't getting it. And then I dropped the 2k demo video and it uh, blew up. So I said, shoot, I had to get 2k after that, <laughs> but I don't know who knows, who knows? I might, I might grab it. So let me know down below in the comments, how you guys feeling about the covers. If, is there somebody else you would prefer to have seen on a cover? Are you guys planning on getting 2K this year? Or is it looking like a skip? Or you got to see some more info about it first? Because like I said, it comes out September 10th, but we haven't seen anything yet. But this is probably just the start right here for it. They got the covers out, so we're probably going to start seeing a little info dropping here and there until we get like the demos and the gameplay videos and stuff like that. And all the influencers showing the game off. I'm hoping they show some cool My Team stuff. And some my GM stuff. I don't really care for the my player stuff at all. But uh, shoot, if it's if they show me some something cool on there, I will be willing to check it out. But you know, when I play 2K, I'm looking for my team and my GM. 
I love to get a good online my league mode going with with the community, the on the stitch community. That'd be cool. We're looking to do the same with Madden, an uh, online franchise with the on the stitch community. So yeah, y'all know how it's finna be later in the year, sports season, football and basketball. That's all you finna see people talking about, really. Well, the sports fans anyway. You know, you see some more Madden stuff once again from us over here and possibly some 2K stuff from whether it's me or somebody else on the team. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and be sure to check back here daily for more content from us at On The Sticks. Thanks.